Hello guys, today's video um, I'm going to teach you how to using the 2mm um, hollow propeller shaft to mount the damper like this, okay? The advantage of using the 2mm hollow propeller shaft to uh, mount the damper like this um, you're gonna have um, lower resistance you know, you got the damper gonna action faster and also the whole damper system gonna be more smooth because um, the school thread which is this one right here let me focus a little bit you can see it so the school thread has a lot of resistance because when damper um, goes up and it goes down so it's create a lot of resistance um, unlike the um, the uh, two millimeter uh, hollow propeller shaft there's no thread so it's more smooth so in this way, in damper going to action a little bit faster. Also, the damper going to be uh, more smooth. And also, um, the, whole, um, the whole impact going to be uh, having better uh, absorbing. Okay. So anyway, um, so in order to do that, um, actually, it's pretty simple. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people when they try to using the 2mm propeller shaft to mount the uh, damper, they just insert the uh, two meter propeller shaft into it and using a, cra a little bit of crazy glue to glue on it but uh, the problem it is when you're doing that it is whole design gonna be a little bit loose also the um, it's not just loose it is it's, it is very weak okay if you doing like that what are gonna happen later it is I'm pretty sure after a couple wrong especially this piece right here it will come off okay that's used to what happened to me okay because the back to all the time I'm doing the same thing I just put the uh, two millimeter uh, propeller shaft just direct glue that on the FRP or either carbon fiber so with couple wrong or either later on this piece just come off okay so in order to improve that happen and in all uh, in order to make it a little bit stronger you have to do some modification um, this system right here, I haven't been using for more than two months. So the damper system, which is right here, the hollow propeller shaft right here, never come off. Same at the back, never come off. Um, because uh, as you can see right here, let me focus a little bit, you can see. As you can see right here, I put a special um, pipe right here. So um, actually this is the pipe right here. You can find this parts in the most of the uh, package, such as this FRP uh, roller state play. They have two right here, and also you can find on the other package. So anyway, um, this is the pipe you're gonna use. Um, the reason you want to using this pipe um, to uh, improve the setting because this pipe actually it is about 4.5 millimeter long okay so um, because uh, the reason you um, if you just glue this one right here it's come off because you don't have enough grab so in order to improve that you need some grab like this one right here also the original the uh, the little hole right here the size kind of big it's about as you can see it is about two point 2.05 or either 2.06 millimeter um, the diameter but the original um, the um, hollow propeller shaft right here is only two millimeter so which means it's kind of a little bit loose so even you're using crazy glue to uh, glue it it still will come off because remember when your car was jumping and land there's a lot of force coming up and this this thing gonna keep like a hitting 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 drag on keep dragging on this direction so f eventually this piece gonna come off okay so anyway um, by using this piece right here um, because they have longer um, size right here so which means you have more grab okay so that's what you have to do you need something uh, a little bit longer can and can give you more grab to supporting the whole uh, body of the um, propeller shaft right here so in order to make it a little bit stronger okay um, 
by doing that, that's you have to drill uh, a hole right here, and then using crazy glue to glue it. Um, that's what I'm doing here, right here. You can see, okay. And um, same thing here, um, but this piece right here, I remove a little bit on the bottom right here to make it a little bit shorter because I don't want something big right here to stick out to scratch the truck. So, especially this piece right here, I mount really low, so I have to cut it. So anyway, um, it's it is pretty simple. All the tool you need it is just the um, the cutter like this one and the three millimeter the drill okay because this piece right here the uh, the body of the diameter of this piece right here is only like almost three millimeter so that's why you need a three millimeter drill and also you need a dremel which is right here if you have a dremel uh if, if you have a dremel press just go ahead and use it it's because it's more accurate okay uh let me just go ahead and starting to do the demonstration okay we're gonna using the three millimeter the drill Okay, which is right here, and then put on the Dremel, put on the lower speed, and you can put on the table, and make sure your hand is go really vertical, like this, so about 90 degree against the table, like this, okay. So you're gonna make a hole right here, so the hole you're gonna mount the damper right here, so make it like a, a bigger, like 3 millimeter right here, in order to can fit to the, uh, the pipe right here. So in order to do that, you have to um, you have a couple choice either you using your hand to hold it and you and drill like this or either if you have a, a vice you can use a vice to hold it because I think it's using um, it really depends it's really depends what kind of uh, tool accessory you have on your hand but it's always better to have some kind of vice you can hold a uh, cramp on it really you know makes it really straight so Right now, I'm just going to go ahead using my uh, Dremel to make the hole. Okay, here we go. Here's the the hole I just made. It's 3 millimeter, And it's perfect to insert the, the tube right here. Okay, so next, you're going to using a crazy glue. Like this one right here. So any kind of. It doesn't really matter. And uh, you're gonna apply around the pipe right here, okay? Another thing, um, this is the carbon fiber powder, and which right here you can see. Um, actually, I I always every single time I cut a carbon fiber, I will save some. Uh, this is very useful because when this thing mixed with crazy glue, it makes every it's gonna be make the crazy glue really stronger okay it's really hard to come off so I recommend um, you better to uh, get some carbon fiber powders um, best recommend using this thing right here to put around the um, the uh, the glue point you're gonna apply the crazy glue okay and it's um it's gonna be like this i'm just gonna put around it a little bit okay and the next gonna apply some crazy glue gonna be like this okay so next you're gonna using knife or ra uh, a razor to remove the extra crazy glue around it okay like this okay the next you have two options either cut first or either put down first um, don't really matter okay it's just up to you and for cutting the this piece right here we're gonna using the 
cutter. Okay. So again, this is the two millimeter propeller shaft for Super FM chassis. The item number right here, 15206, they have two different color, but it's all the same. So just make sure it's two millimeter hollow propeller shaft, okay? For Super uh, for super FM chassis and the Type 5 chassis, okay? Anyway, um, i just gonna using the uh, Dremel again to cut a part of the shaft right here. Okay. Okay. See this piece right here. So next, I'm just gonna first recommend. Um, to using uh, crazy glue to put a little bit into the canal right here okay and then using napkin to clean a little bit like this then wait for a couple minutes wait for it's dry out okay so after it's dry this hole gonna be really tight so next just take this one right here and insert To the, uh, the the pipe right here, using a hammer or anything, you can hit on it and hit. Okay, it's like this. So it's gonna be right here. It's really tight, and for maximum security, you better apply some around the uh, the shaft again. Okay. So as you can see, we just almost finished here. Trust me, if you follow my step, this is gonna be really hard. See, I even can, it's really hard to pull it out. So which means it's really strong, okay? See, no matter what you do, it's just hard. See, I'm trying, I, you, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm using my, really using my um, muscle to try to pull it out, but it's, it's not really, it's really hard, okay? So which means this system right here really strong. So next we're gonna set up a damper. For the big damper, recommend using those type of AR damper, which is they have a little bit deep hole right here. Because remember this pipe right here have a little bit of um, the, right here, there's a little bit like a edge right here. Because this little pipe right here, um, the body, it is about a three millimeter, how they talk about it, okay. Right here, it's about three millimeter for the diameter right here, and there's a little bit like a um, um, skirt right here. Let me focus a little bit. You can see it. There's a little bit of skirt right here. It is about four millimeter. Okay. Okay. So this is a skirt right here. That's why I'm recommend using this type of like AR damper because they have a deep hole design. So when you put on it this thing can see that can cover it then in this case you have more big contact surface when the damper drop to the to the arm right here okay so in this case you have better um, result for the damper okay so next thing we're gonna using a, a penny gear um, the for um, cover the top because right now they have nothing on top so the damper can easily come off so you're gonna using a penny gear so penny gear okay again um, penny gear you better using the brand new penny gear okay do not using any use or old penny gear because if you're using any used penny gear you put on top it's gonna come off easily okay so this package already comes with four penny gear, okay? So there's two extra right here. Okay, right here. So we're gonna using this penny gear right here to put on top of that. Okay, so make sure, remember I cut this end right here? Make sure before you put a penny gear on it, using a 
uh, uh, the cut again to round up the edges because there's a lot of scrap around it. So if you have scrap around, it's hard to put the cleaning gear on top of that. So you better using the cut again to make the edges a little bit smoother. Okay. So next, I'm just gonna try put the painting gear right here to put on top of that. Just again, make sure it's brand new painting gear. If it's used or old painting gear, it'll come off easy. So make sure you're using a, a new one. Okay. So after you put the painting gear on top of that, okay, you're gonna using a cutter. Okay. So after you put the painting gear on top of that, you're gonna using a plastic cutter to remove the tea. Like this. See that? Okay. Okay, it's gonna be like this. So as you can see, um, by using the uh, holo um, two millimeter holo propeller shaft, it is uh, the damper is really smooth and action really fast. Okay. So anyway, um, if you want to do the back, same thing. So like this, you have to make a three millimeter hole right here to insert the tube. Okay. So another thing I'm gonna talk about it before I end up this video. See, there's a little bit of uh, thing stick out the extra part right here. Okay. Um, you better to remove this piece right here because you don't want anything stick out on the ground to um, scratch your truck uh, because. I don't think it's gonna really gonna scratch up, but it's just for uh, for security problem. So it's better to uh, remove it. It's pretty simple, just using the cutter. So as you can see right here, already remove it. Okay. So there's nothing stick out anymore. So anyway. For uh, good performance, it's always better to using the holo propeller shaft, and it's it because it's really smooth. It's make a damper action a bit faster. You know, there's no resistance. So anyway, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. If you have any question, just go ahead and leave a comment.